inside the Komodo dragon exhibit here at the San Antonio Zoo and director of Ectotherms, Craig Pelkey joins me. Who do we have here? This is so cool. This is my Bubba. He's Your a Komodo Bubba. dragon. Yeah, he's my Bubba. <laughs> uh, what is Bubba's story? Bubba's story is he's he's one of our big animals here at the zoo. One of our top one of our top draws ranks right up there with the elephants and the tigers and so on. Uh, he is a mature male Komodo dragon. He's about eight and a half feet, uh, between 140 to 150 pounds. He'll be uh, 24 on February 29th. Oh, okay. So, what does he eat? He eats anything made out of meat. Okay. <laughs> He's not okay. picky. What would they typically hunt? In the wild, it'd be deer, mm -hmm. pigs, um, some types of birds, uh, sometimes other dragons. They'll eat fish, and uh, what else? Sometimes even water buffalo. How how yeah. fast can they move though? Well, at this size, there's it's very explosive, but not for very long. Uh -huh. um, so where your camera guy is right now, he could explode and grab <laughs> them from this point. That. Uh, but that's about it. <laughs> Bubba, <laughs> don't go away. Creeping towards Ted as Ted starts to pack. <laughs> now we do have a female here named T. And uh -huh. she's in her prime, and uh, and she doesn't have bad knees like Bubba. Um, she's been seen sprinting across the exhibit catching rock squirrels. Really? Catches them and eats them. Wow. Okay. So how is their eyesight? It's excellent. Mm -hmm. It's excellent. Uh, when I was in front, uh, he was already eyeballing me. Is that his ears? That yeah, he's got slit? ears. Those okay. little slits there, they work just like ours. They just don't have lobes for earrings and things like that. And are there claws? Strong, sharp? They're very strong. Yeah. Everything about him mm -hmm. is strong, sharp. This is an incredible beast here. It literally is like a dinosaur. Uh, he's got all kinds of weapons, you know, like these claws here. His tail's a weapon. If he decides to do so, he could hit you and knock you in the next week with that tail. It's that strong. Wow. Probably the best thing about these guys is their, their jaws and their teeth. Their teeth are kind of like shark teeth, but with a curve to them. And they're very, very sharp. And in that curve, they're serrated like a steak knife. Whoa. And so what they do is, uh, this guy here, because he's not, he's not gonna be chasing things down like a cheetah, mm -hmm. what he's going to do is he's gonna sit there looking like a log in the forest. And I got to see this in Komodo, it was awesome. And the deer come by and they don't see him. And all of a sudden he just explodes out and grabs it and they give up kind of a, like a maiming bite. Um, in this case, what I saw, they removed the right quad of a deer. <laughs> and that immobilizes the animal. There, they start taking chunks out. So what he'll do is they'll grab on, and with all those little steak knives in their mouth, they'll start kind of moving their jaws like this, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, it's like a cookie cutter. And they rip that whole big chunk out, bone, flesh, you name it. We are at San Antonio Zoo here, we're really big on Komodo dragons, the whole species survival program, mm -hmm. as well as their um, their field conservation. Uh, we, we are very active participants in all portions of Komodo dragon conservation in the field, in zoos. Um, we bred them here, uh, we educate here. Uh, I had the chance in 2015 to go there to help out with the field work. There's only one group in the world that does that work and I got to go there and six days of running around Komodo Island with dragons. It was, to help them out, it was, it was great. So we're, we're big advocates of uh, Komodo dragons. And with Bubba, how can you not? Know?